everyone. I am trying a voiceover for the very first time. Let's see how this goes. Um, so I have been gone all summer and upon returning I decided to do some ink and pen play of course because it's fun and I missed it even though I did take a bunch of pens with me of course and I wrote a ton. Um, but I have created swatches for all of my inks. Um, I also wanted to show you my little like traveling ink um, or a fountain pen maintenance bag, which is a Delphonics utility pouch, small, uh, and this is what I take. I took on my trip this summer, um, and it's nice to have around to clean out pens and do some maintenance on the road, uh, because I did travel with um, mostly vintage fountain pens this summer, and I was gone for over a month, and it's nice to have. So here you can see um, all the stains <laughs> that are in my little bag. Um, I have uh, lots of different random supplies, this beautiful syringe for injecting ink into my blood because how else are you supposed to get really connected with your writing? That was a joke. Um, those are traveling inkwells. Uh, <laughs> those were my ink archives and my pen archives. Currently I just have um, fountain pens, my vintage fountain pens categorized right, right now in that little um, Hobonichi Cousin of Eck. Um, and then these are the pens that I currently have inked up just to share with you. Uh, basically these are pens that I haven't um, used in a while and I haven't recorded uh, their ink capacity yet. Uh, it's something I like to do so that I have a sense of how much, uh, let's see, how much I can get out of an ink fill. How much writing I can do with one fill up of, of the pen and each one is a little bit different so I like to count the lines and pages that I get out of a single ink pen um, and so <laughs> these are the ones that I haven't done that yet for and so I am um, going to be doing that and each one I will dedicate however long it takes to get through the ink uh, so right now I'm just on number one which is the Waterman's 52 and a half V which is one of my very first pens, and it's a really sweet pen. I love using it. It's a great writer. has a little, like, stub nib, which is super fun to write with. Um, and I will write with that every day in my journal until the ink runs out. And then I'll give it a really good cleaning and polish her up and put her back in my little um, ink pen pouch and then move on to the next one, which will be a Wall Eversharp Greg pen, which is super cool. That's a pen that was created for shorthand writers. So the nib is like super smooth and like, it's like, it's like driving a race car uh, because it was designed to, to be able to be used super, super fast. So anyways, <laughs> so there's my lineup of the current vintage pens that I'm running, which is quite a bit. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, I'll talk to you later.